Good morning. Welcome to Lodz, an Easter service of morning prayer and praise. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia! Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song and, and has become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. For this morning's scripture, I'm going to read from Acts uh, chapter 16, verses 9 through 15. Uh, Acts is a story that talks about the development of the church following the development of the Christian church after Easter. Um, this particular uh, section deals with the expansion of Paul's ministry into Greece. And so Acts chapter 16, verses 9 through 15. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Tro Troas and took a straight course to Sam Samothras, the following day to ne Neapolis, and from there to Philippi which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the, woman who had gathered, the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Theateria and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to, eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her house, household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. You have been born anew through the abiding and living word of God. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of your risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. For the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, re renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, 
for the people and countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Let the splendor of the resurrection light up our hearts and minds. Lord God, scattering the shadow of death, bringing us to the radiance of eternity, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Open, O doors, and open, O doors and bolts of my heart, that Christ the King of glory may enter. Enter, O light, and enlighten my darkness. Enter, O my life, and resurrect my, de my deadness. Enter, O my physician, and heal my wounds. Enter, O divine fire, and burn up the thorns of my sins. Ignite my inward parts and my heart with, flame, with the flame of thy love. Enter, O my King, and destroy in me the kingdom of sin. Sit on the throne of my heart, and alone reign in me, O thou my King and Lord. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.